Hey, this is Steven Seifert. Are these online dulcimer events ruining the traditional in-person dulcimer festivals we've all been doing for decades? That's the question. When this pandemic started, it, it didn't take long. We had online events and I had a lot to do with some of those, still do. We've had these events where there's hundreds of people learning online together. What are, what are some of the benefits, first of all? Well, lots of performers and teachers have learned to use the technology in new ways. Lots of students have learned the same technology. So when we need to get together, we know how now, that's a good thing. A lot of us performers and teachers, especially those of us who have depended on this as our main income, we got a shot at making a living right now. That's amazing. I mean, for as much as we're all sitting at home, it's really given us something to do, you know? And a lot of you are learning, getting better. I think you see people who maybe don't have the money to go across the country to some event. They're able to participate now in classes and concerts. There's one lady that wrote me, she said that her husband came down with Alzheimer's a few years ago and ever since she just has been thinking, I'm not gonna be able to go to festivals anymore. Well, she wrote me and said, now I can stay at home, take care of my husband, not worry about him. And I get to see my friends again and learn and escape and have fun. That's pretty good, right? We're all getting better, I think. A lot of us have been getting better. Well, what are we gonna do with that? I think you're gonna see, I really do think we're gonna see a renaissance in dulcimer players. I think we're gonna start to see some real strong intermediates, some, some new, really good players are gonna emerge. You know? These are the people who are going to when these, as Bing Fudge calls them, terrestrial festivals return, these are gonna be the people who go there and help help those return. They're also gonna start new events. They're gonna start new clubs, you know? We might be facing a situation soon where we got plenty of dulcimer players, plenty of events. I think it's beautiful to think it can all coexist. I mean, a lot of people have been saying, you know, you can't replace that in-person experience. And that's true. You don't have to, you know? I, I think that the festivals, the in-person festivals have needed to be tweaked in some ways. This is my opinion. I mean, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for the folks who put these in-person events on. Um, sometimes they go into the red and nobody knows it, but they're, the director's paying out of their own pocket, you know. But you could, you could go back to Cosby, Tennessee, the first Dulcimer Festival, I believe. Some of the early ones like Kindred Gathering, Black Swamp. Um, we stand on the shoulders of giants. But here's what I would tweak a little bit at, at the in-person festivals. Sometimes there's not enough jamming and that's been getting worse and worse. I wanna see slow jams, fast jams, like a, a folk songs of the 50s, 60s jam, singing jams, you know, Irish jams. That's where a lot of the learning actually happens. Sometimes I think we've got too many workshops at the traditional festival because some of the greatest learning happens in a jam where you don't know what you're doing and people welcome you in anyway. Also, sometimes at a festival, I'm too busy at the vending table and I'm too busy with the workshops to find those moments to sneak away with other performers and create a surprise performance, you know, a duet or a trio no one was expecting. I love that stuff, you know? I actually love to hang out in a slow jam with beginners. Um, if I'm standing at a vending table all day, I don't, 
nothing. I would rather be playing with people. Seriously. So I don't think the online events are going to replace the traditional in-person festivals. I think it's going to augment it and it's going to allow for some breathing room. Imagine if at the traditional in-person festivals, imagine if maybe we didn't do quite so many workshops because that stuff's happening online at home. So that when you get to the festival, we can all get together and teach and learn in a jam environment or just sitting in, sitting in the hallway and talking. I don't know how it's all going to work out. But I don't think online events are killing traditional festivals. I think they're preserving them, strengthening our movement, if you will. So take this time and get better. Everybody's always saying I don't have enough time to practice. Well, you got the time now. Get a little better. Music heals. Gene Ritchie said the dulcimer for me has always been the perfect accompaniment to the more important things in life. You know, it's, 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 a, it's about a lot more than music. So I want to see you in person, but until then check out Steve Fest at stevensiever.com. 20 workshops three level specific jams, one concert. You get video for whatever classes you sign up for. You're gonna get the handouts. If you don't make the class, you still get all the goodies. Come on by. If nothing else, come check out our jams. They're free. Pop your head in and say hello. Ladies and gentlemen, let's keep the music going.